Hello, today I'm here in the elaborate interactive IMAX Dogfish Museum. You see a lot of our original equipment, our original brew house, our original bottling line. We can do 100 cases in 10 hours, good times. Original tapper, original kegger over here. And this is actually not an original piece of equipment. This is our second generation continual hopping device. Uh, today we're talking about our 120 minute IPA. This here is the world's strongest India pale ale. Uh, clocking in some years about the 20, but we now brew it to come in right around 18% alcohol, as we found over the last seven or eight years, that that's really where uh, its balance is best. It's just a gigantic IPA, so even though it's really, really big, unlike uh, some super strong beers, like Great Ones Utopias, that drinks more like liquor, uh, our huge beers are, are meant to drink more like beers. So they're actually carbonated, you know, as an IPA would be. They just have way, way more uh, flavor, complexity, and hoppiness. Uh, IPUs uh, are over 100 in the brew house, uh, 120 is the target. Uh, for those of you less uh, beer geeky than myself, IBUs are international bittering units. It's how us beer folk calibrate the hoppiness of our beer. So a normal a, a, a Coors Bud Miller light lager will be 8 to 10 IBUs. You know, a normal pale ale is somewhere around 20 IBUs. So this is literally like six times as strong as hoppy as, an, as a regular pale ale and use about four or five times as strong in alcohol. So it's a sipper. I'm only demonstrating what 12 ounces looks like in a glass. I don't recommend having 12 ounces unless you do that over the course of an e evening. We sell this in single serve bottles. It's actually ideal to split with somebody. Uh, buy a bottle, grab two cognac snifters or big red wine glasses, uh, take it out of the fridge half an hour before you want to drink it so it warms up to at least uh, red wine temperatures. You want to drink this beer cool, not cold. Uh, and the interesting thing is you think that as our beers uh, get stronger, 60 minutes to 90 minutes, 120 minute I IPA, yeah, we have a way more hops than the 120 per ounce of liquid than we do 60. But the 120 is not more bitter. In fact, the 90 is a little bit sweeter than the 60 minute, and the 120 minutes more sweet than the 90. That's because the stronger a beer is, the more unfermentable sugars are still left in the final product. So even though the yeast is eating a vast amount of sugars from a beer that starts uh, with as, as high of an initial gravity as 120, a lot of those residual sugars are left over. And that's part of what makes this such a great beer to lay down. Basically, if you take two bottles of this, split one with a loved one one night, put the other bottle in your cellar for two years, come back and try that, 120 is going to age with incredible complexity. It picks up a lot of uh, marmalade notes to it and a lot of uh, oxidation notes in time that contribute a very sherry-like uh, character to the beer. Also, the, the bitterness and hoppiness recedes a bit in time. It's just a, a beautiful beer to drink uh, fresh or to lay down for a couple of years. So look for 120-minute IPA. It's our best-selling uh, strong beer that we do. We make it a number of times each year and send it out to every state that's smart enough to allow beers over 15% alcohol to be sold there. Talk to me, you, Utah. Change your ways. That's it.